When you start using fresh servers, you might want to bring in all your employees as requesters. Now, instead of doing this manually or importing a CSV, you can use your Active Directory to authenticate users. This makes the process a lot simpler and dynamic. Here's how to set it up. To begin with, check if IIS is installed on the server. If it's not, follow these steps to install it. Open the Server Manager. Then, go to Manage and click on Add Roles and Features. In the Add Roles and Features wizard, follow the prompts. When you get to the Server Roles phase, enable Web Server IIS. On the Role Services phase, expand Application Development and enable ASP. This is needed to host Fresh Server's classic ASP scripts. We'll get to that in a bit. Also enable Windows Authentication. This is to authenticate the Active Directory users in Fresh Service. In the IIS Manager, you can use the default site or add a new one to enable single sign-on in Fresh Service. To add a new site, right-click on Sites and click on Add Website. In the Add Website form, enter a name for the site. I'll just name it Fresh Service for context. In the Physical Path field, provide the path where you want the scripts to be saved. Then, enter the binding IP address and the port number and click on OK to create the site. Now that the site is created, click on the site and double click on ASP. Set Enable Parent Paths to True. And then, go to Authentication and enable Windows Authentication. You might want to disable all other authentication types to prevent unauthorized login. Now, you'll need to download the Fresh Service ASP script files. You can search for the support article for Fresh Service Active Directory SSO. The files are attached in the solution article, which is also linked in the description below. Download both the files, AD script and constants. You'll need to configure them in the IIS later. The second file, constants.asp, needs to be updated. You can do that by opening it with a text editor like Notepad. For the SLDAP reader username, enter the username of an Active Directory account that has at least read privilege to all the users in the AD. Enter the password of that account for SLDAP reader password. The S token needs to be obtained from your Fresh Service account. Log into Fresh Service as an admin. Then go to the admin console, scroll down to the customer portal section and click on security. Toggle the switch next to single sign on. Now, click on the radio button corresponding to simple SSO and copy the shared secret. Go back to the text editor where the constants file is open and assign this code to the S token variable. For the S return URL, replace the word domain with your fresh service subdomain name and save the file. Now, you'll need to copy these files in the site you created in IIS. To do that, open the IIS manager, right click on the site and click on Explore. Then, double-click on Default Document in IIS and add the AD script file to it. Finally, you'll need to configure SSO in Fresh Service. Open the browser where your Fresh Service account is already open, and in the Remote Login URL field, enter the AD script remote URL from the IIS. You can leave the Remote Logout URL field blank. That would just take users to the home page of the support portal when they log out. Click on Save to enable remote authentication. Now, users will be able to access your Fresh Service portal by logging in with their Active Directory usernames. Hope it helped. In case you have any questions, call us or mail us at support at freshservice.com. For more videos, go to youtube.com slash freshserviceapp and subscribe.